What is going on my doggies? Welcome back to another video. Look at where we just woke up. We've just woken up on the side of the road. We've spent the first ever night sleeping in the boat and we're about to spend the next seven days sleeping in this boat, island hopping from island to island to island, catching massive fish. We ain't got no food. We've got very limited gear in the boat. And right now, one of my good mates is up in the boat. He's trying to get a barista session going, but um, I don't think it's going to plan. Well, you got that water boiling yet or what? Hey, oh. Yes, he's got it going. Yeah. Field day family. This is my mate, Viggy. Viggy, meet the field day family. This is all we heard all night last night. The sound of trucks. That's when you know. Yeah, he just gave us a little toot. Yeah, doggy. All right, this is basically what it looked like last night. Big dog was parked up down here. I'm parked up up here. And um, this is what it's gonna look like for the next seven days, doggies. We're gonna get a quick little barista session on the go. And we've got a couple of hours drive north to a uh, destination unknown. Ready, big dog? Let's get it. Nah, this is gonna be sick. Way too many rods, probably not enough fuel, and um, not a lot of food. This is gonna be sick. Oh, my doggies, here we go. The big adventure is about to begin. We've just dropped the boat in the water. Viggy's taking the car over to where we're leaving the car for the next week and um, basically from this point onwards we're going to try our hardest not to touch dry land or touch mainland Australia for the next week. We're going to be living off this boat, sleeping on this boat, eating, cooking, catching, just living that good bloody life on this boat for the next week. It's going to be super, super bloody fun. This is what it's looking like inside this boat for the next week. We've got my swag, we've got Viggy's swag, a little bit of cooking gear up here, and then this is atrocious. Spear guns, fishing gear, fishing gear, fishing gear. That's both of our clothes in there. Fishing gear, cold beers and ice in there. Fishing gear, fishing gear. The good old pie warmer, this is gonna get a flogging. We're gonna test this thing out actually, see if we can cook some feeds in it. And then um, down the back of the boat here, we've got a little bit of spare fuel, um, big bag of ice there, and um, up on the roof. We just have a disgusting amount of fishing gear. This is going to be a very, very bloody fun trip. We've got 375 litres of fuel on board. We've got a little bit of water. We've got minimum food. We've got a couple of crackers and a few things like that, but we don't have really any stable food. So the whole entire plan or the aim of attack of what we want to do is we just want to catch fresh food and eat it every single day while we're out here so that's the goal we have got incredible weather for the next five days blows up a little bit in the in the next couple in the end of the week but the weather is just absolutely bloody beautiful right now so i'll wait for viggy to get back we'll jump on board and as soon as he jumps in this boat we are not touching mainland australia for the next seven days might be jumping on a couple of islands out there but um this is it doggies this is going to be one hell of an adventure we're going to put this boat to work I am absolutely fizzing for this one. How? All right, we have just punched out about 35 nautical miles straight off land. We are straight out into the dark blue water and it is looking really, really bloody good. It's very dark blue water. There's a couple of birds up here. We're trolling a skirt out the back and um, I think the aim of the game is to pull a fish on a jig, eh? I reckon. Gonna try to pull a fish up on the bottom on a jig that's the goal right now but it is looking really really bloody good out here all right here we go this is the first fish of the trip it's just picked up a skirt trolling behind the boat it's not a monster but it is first fish of the trip there he is first fish of the trip beautiful little long tail tuna Took a liking to that skirt, we're dragging around, we're in about 40 metres of water here. That's a beautiful fish, he's going straight back. We do need to get a fish for dinner tonight, but um, we're getting way better fish than this, eh? Let's get him back in the water. That hook just fell straight out. Hey, here's a lovely one. One, two, three. See you later, brother. Epic. All right, let's keep punching. Roger out. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> That's so good. 
I was just working that lure, bro. Like, you were bringing it back to the boat, eh? Sweeping it, yeah. This looks fucking cool. That's so good. All right, we've got another one on. That last one that Vicky caught, he let that thing go. And um, he's got another one on right. He was just bringing his lure back to the boat as I was trolling and it just got absolutely pumped. Another tuna? Yeah. Exactly the same. Another tuna. Exactly the same. He's going back. We don't want tuna. Go. See you, mate. Oh, look at him go like a bullet. All right, we've both got a fish on. Double hook up. What are you doing? You gotta go under. You're going that way, I'm going this way. Vicky's rod just went spastic. My rod just went spastic. We both got fish on here. What are you calling? Another tuna? Always oh, take around. Look at that one. <laughs> Sharks. <laughs> this one's going deep, man. Oh. Shark, eh? Uh, it's work. <sighs> Two, three, three. Oh no, I missed the esky. Oh no, I missed the esky again. Get in there. All right, I'm free. Go. Oh, oh yes, you missed the esky too. <laughs> no way, dude. Look at Vicky's little dick holder. My doodle protector. Your doodle protector. Hold on, I'll back up on it. Wait, wait. <laughs> That's your dinner. You're eating that. That's it. Alright doggies, this is what we just got. We got another two tuna. I think we're done with these things, eh? Too many, eh? Too many. Maybe one will be good for sashimi tonight, eh? Maybe, eh? Could be pretty good. Alright, we've both made an executive decision. We are going to keep one of these tuna. We're going to make sashimi tonight sitting here in the boat. We did bring a little bit of chili. We did bring soy sauce. We bring all that good stuff. So um, one of these are gonna go in the ice bin, chuck it straight on ice. That's gonna be so bloody good tonight with a cold beer. But I think we're gonna go and chase some fish on the bottom now. This is a, this is like the fifth or the sixth tuna we got. Yeah. Crazy, eh? All right, one of these are going straight on ice. See if we can get some bottom fish. I just did the craziest thing in the world. I just sent a big shark over here. And I said to Biggie, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna throw a stick bait at this shark. And I'm pretty sure a big mackerel just came in and has just boofed this stick bait. It's exactly what we want too. Man, he's smoked today on the surface. Chuck a stick bait out, bro. You want me to get one? No, I'll get it, you get one, get one on. Yeah. I don't even have trace on you. See ya. Oh, you're getting boofed. Oh, no way! You're kidding! Oh no, I just got sharked. I just got sharked. Look at this. That is a shark. Just ate my fish. Are you on? Yeah. You'll probably get that up because I've got a shark on here. Woohoo! Look at this! Get off! So get yours in, we need food now. <laughs> we want to cook some fish up. Oh, this is bad. I'm getting absolutely spanked. Ah! I just lost mine. Here, I'll help you with yours. This is mayhem. Well, there we go. Viggy actually hooked up to a tuna, not a Mackey. He's going to go straight back in the water. Go, buddy, go. Oh, he's floating. He's going to be shark food. Nah. He's kicking, he's kicking, he's kicking. There he goes. Off yeah. he goes. This is ma Look at him go, man. <laughs> All right, we both know that we should not be doing what we're doing right now. There are sharks absolutely everywhere. There are fish absolutely bloody everywhere, but we are just losing tackle. We're both laughing, saying that we're gonna have to be go back into the mainland in two days to go restock tackle because we're getting smoked. But we're gonna have one more drop. What we wanna do is get something big, beautiful for dinner. Something that's like real good, like a coral trout or a red or a, I don't know, something good. We're just dropping jigs on this new spot. See how we go. Just gotta get it past these sharks. These sharks are ruthless, man. You on the bottom? Ready? Watch this. I'm near the bottom. There are fish absolutely everywhere. Oh wow! This is gonna be this is gonna be a disaster. Ready? Bottom. 
Oh, fish, ready? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, fish! Oh, oh, no. That's fish! Oh, oh. oh I've gone. Oh. You gone? Yeah. That's, we can't do this anymore. <laughs> oh, no, I've still got my jig on. Pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. Oh, fish on, fish! <laughs> oh, that's fish! Get it up, get it up. <laughs> it's like I'm beating eggs, man. Come on. Oh, I think it's a tuna, because I got it mid-water. Did you get snipped? Yeah. No mackerel on the bottom, I think. Imagine if this is a mackie lip hooked. It's gonna have to be a tuna. Oh, it is a mackie. Oh, it's a wow. little Spanish. They are mackerel down there. It's a Spanish, bro. Grab that net. I don't know if he's going to be big enough. Oh, no! Snipped you. Snipped me. <laughs> They're Spanish down there. <gasps> that was the perfect size eating Spanish mackerel. That's something that we'd take for dinner for sure. Had it right at the bottom of the boat and um, it snipped me line. Obviously, we're just using I'm running 50 pound leader right here, and um, obviously sh Spanish mackerel's teeth are so sharp, pretty much as sharp as, sharp as a shark. So we'll drop back down. We just said we're not going to drop down again. Yeah. We're going to do it, but I. Eh? All right, let's drop down again. I've got absolutely no idea why I'm dropping a jig back down right now, but we both just dropped again, and um, I dare say I'm going to lose this jig. Nearly on the bottom. Very close to bottom, bottom. Here we go. Oh, that's fish, ready? Fish. Fish straight on the bottom. Come on. Oh. Oh. You on? Come on, big rig. Oh, wow. What this is, is this is as long as, as I've stayed connected to a fish in ages. Ah! Oh no, it's still there. This is hectic, dude. This is really hectic. That's fish. That's fish. Oh, oh please stay on. There we go. Oh, wow. Hey. That's big. That's very big. That's very, 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 very big. I oh, turned its head, bro. Oh no. Go on. Pulled hook again, eh? Really? It's like soft lip fish. That's big, that's big, that was big, man. Wow. Oh, again. Oh. oh, here we go. Look at this thing. <laughs> Oh, that's big. Oh. What is this thing? There's a big groper or something, eh? Oh, this is a monster of a fish. Oh, wow, dude. That was big. Oh, I've gone from very light jigging gear to medium jigging gear. Now I'm using super heavy jigging gear. Whatever's down there, we're gonna bring it in the boat. We've gotta get it up, eh? Come on. Oh, yeah. Got him. Oh. All right. Let's go, big boy. Look at this. This is what we're coming back with. We're just getting fish heads back. That is, that fish just had an extremely hard life coming up. That thing buckled me. There must have been sharks and cod and everything on that, eh? Look at that thing. Destroyed. Mother nature is a wild, wild thing. That's hectic. Oh, Vicky just got bopped. 
All right, we are finally pulling the pin on this spot. We cannot get a fish up. We just got a big, dirty cobia head in. Viggy got absolutely railed just then. I dropped back down and got railed again. What's happening is there is a, the bottom is just full of big fish. You get them up about 10 meters off the bottom and sharks or massive big groper are coming in. The groper just suck on the fish and you just it's just like an anchor. You can't move it. And then they end up just bringing it under a ledge and your line just pings. So we've had a little bit of fun out here, but as you guys can see in the background there, we've only got a little bit of sunlight left. We've got to go find an island to pull the boat up on. And um, we've got a whole lot of things to do. We still don't have dinner. <laughs> we've got sashimi, we've got a tuna in the esky, nice cold tuna, but we want to get like a coral trout or a red or even a mackerel, something beautiful for dinner. We're going to make fish wraps, I think. So um, we've got to get a fish on the deck. This is the mission. Have a look at this incredibly beautiful fish. Now there's got a Rankin cod. He's only a baby, but that is, if we can get a big one of them, that thing is going straight on the frying pan in a fish wrap tonight. That is a beautiful fish. He's a little bit small. He's going back. See you later, brother. We're gonna, we're gonna, oh, look at the bottom. Are you on? Yeah, Vicky's on. Hey, this better be dinner. Not big, eh? Oh, man, standard. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is uh, it? Oh, it's another poor man's Oh, man. that's cute. Does that come with nail polish? No, it's actually. <laughs> All right, let's go. Our whole entire dinner is relying on you, man. <laughs> Oh, if you don't man. get this in the boat, it, don't do it. Like, if this is a tuna, I swear <laughs> to God, you're swimming in. I reckon it is. Better not be a tuna. No, come on, come on. Hit the net, brother. What is it? No. Oh, it's a stinking emperor. That's dinner. That's a dinner. That's dinner, man. <laughs> Spango. <laughs> little Spango. It's not so little. That's pretty big. Oh, right, lift him up. We got a mad hook up. Ooh. That there, my friends, is dinner. Beautiful spangled emperor. That has taken some serious work, eh, dude? Too much, man. We've been getting smoked by sharks, we've been getting smoked by massive cod, and this is the first eating fish we've had on the boat apart from the tuna, so that thing's going in the esky. That's beautiful, man. Straight in the esky. We've got that much sun left, light. Yeah, doggy. Look at this, man. This is the most incredible weather. Crazy. All right, now that we've secured ourselves a little bit of grub, what we're gonna do is we're gonna punch in, we're gonna go find a beautiful little island and um, put the anchor down, make that base for the night, cook up a bit of food, make a bit of sashimi with that tuna we've got on ice. We're gonna put that bad boy there, possibly in a fish wrap, and um, I'm excited, man. That sunset is gonna be an absolute banger. Look at this, there's not a breath of wind right now. We've been kissed on the knob by the weather gods. Oh. All right, big dog, you ready? Yeah. Look at this. Look at that sunset. Man. That's crazy, eh? Yeah. It doesn't get much better than that, man. It really doesn't. I'm gonna put up the world's longest selfie stick so you guys can have a beautiful view of what we're seeing. Look how dope this is, man. That is the moon rising right there. It is firing. Vicky's getting the shot right now. That is dinner right there. And then over the back side, look at that sunset, dude. We're anchored up right here right now. There's a small, tiny little island just over the back here. We're just pulled up on the back of the island and um, this is home for the night. What I've got here is we've got the noodle rod out with a squid jig just sitting pretty in the current and um, Look at that. That's off its head. We're gonna we're gonna fill up that, do a little bit of tuna, and um, you guys will see what we do later on. This is living. Getting the job done, eh? That's as fresh as it gets, huh? Oh yeah. It's gonna taste that good. 
tuna is up next. All right, here we go. We've got a razor sharp knife down here. Big dog just cleaned up that beautiful spangled little emperor. We have a tray of spangled emperor, emperor ch chunks of fish. Oh, yeah, I can't even speak, man. Down here, we've got that beautiful little tuna. This is gonna be entree tonight. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take off this top shoulder and, um, oh man, we're gonna have a little bit of sashimi. It is gonna be that good. This is as fresh as it gets. Look at that. That is the top shoulder or the back shoulder of a bit of tuna. Super fresh, that's gonna be that good. You hungry, big dog? <laughs> oh man, look at that. There's a bag of fish and something called Tandako seasoning, which is just that good. I'm gonna shake that up, let that sit to the side for a minute. And then we'll get stuck into that sashimi. All right, doggies, welcome back to the field day kitchen. No worries, the wrist We've <laughs> <laughs> we got a lime, we've got a chili, a little bit of soy sauce. We've got a tray of some of the most beautiful fresh tuna right there. So what I'm gonna do, this is super simple. Slice that lime in half. We've got the bottom of a jet boil thing here because we don't have any utensils or cups or bowls out here. A little bit of lime juice in there. That'll do ya. Soy sauce. Wait, oh, she's a brand newie. Soy sauce goes straight in there. Oh man, this is gonna be that good. Dice up a little bit of fresh chili. There's a little bit of diced up fresh chili. That's going straight in there. Mix that all around. And it is basically as easy as that. Fresh tuna, a little bit of a dipping sauce. Come and wrap your lips around this big dog. What are you doing? You're setting up fishing gear already. He's already, he's still fishing, man. Let's go fishing, bro. You already, you are. He's got a fishing rod right there <laughs> out in the water right now. Look at that, man. Doesn't get any better. Oh, that is so good. It ain't no yellowfin, no, good, not yellowfin flavor, but eh? No, we spoiled, but. We're spoiled. We've been getting yellowfin, big yellowfin every, every day lately. Oh man. That's good, eh? All right, we're gonna sit here. Mm. We're gonna murder this little plate of goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, we're gonna get stuck into making a couple of fish wraps. We've got a squid jig on this side of the boat. He's got a big bit of tuna gut laying out the back of the boat there on a fishing rod, so um, anything could happen out here. It is literally dead wind. There is no wind whatsoever. It's good, eh? So good, bro. Wow. All right, we're about to cook this beautiful- Oh, oh no way, dude! Are you, every, time I, every time I hit record, his rod goes off. All right, you fish, I'm gonna talk, all right? We're about to cook this beautiful Spangled Emperor. We've had a little bit of wind come in. You got it? We've had a little bit of wind come in, so um... <laughs> have you got it? Oh my God, we've got another fish on over here. I'm gonna drop these beautiful chunks of fresh Spangled Emperor into this oil. We've had a little bit of wind come in, so we've had to make this wind break here. But look at this, man. This is so... Oh, you dropped it. Oh. No way. Oh, you're hitting the, hitting the, the record button. Good luck, eh? Back out. What's that? I wonder what you got that time. We have absolutely no idea where we've anchored the boat. We've, we're kind of safe. We've kind of put ourselves in like a little bit of a bay, but we rocked up when it was real dark. We spent the day pulling our bloody fish away from giant cotton sharks. Look at that, man. That looks real good. Man, this is like KFC. Look at this. Way better, but way fresher, way healthier. Yeah, doggy! Oh, he's got it. Whatever it is, he's just hooked up to it. Yes. 
That's the number two. Nice. It went super high just then, hey? Went like real high in the water. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's so good, man. What is it? What is it? This is so fun. How good. Cooking a mad feed. Just had mad sashimi. What do you got? Another little oh, shark. Oh, it's another bro. shark. It's a little bit bigger, but. Look at that thing. Yeah. That is. That's so sick. All right, we are getting rudely interrupted by sharks every time I hit record on the camera. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Old big dogs on the sleigh on the shark mission. But we have got some serious fish wraps going on here. We're both starving, man. We've had so much sashimi, and now it's um, fish wrap time. Look at look at this! Look at this! That looks so good. This is gonna be that good, eh? So good, man. Cherry tomatoes. Look at this thing. My goodness. <laughs> On the fishy gunnel. So good. Oh man, big day. We've only, we only started fishing today at 12 o'clock and we've had, we were just talking about it before, we've had one of the most funnest, exciting days. Like, couldn't even bring fish up. Sharks, cod, it was just an, it, it's insane. Tomorrow is gonna be even better. We've got plans for tomorrow. Look at that thing. It's fresh as it gets. How's your gunnel wrap? <laughs> oh man, look at this. Alright, there it is. Big juicy fish wraps. Cheers, big dog. Hey, oh, man. Just roll off for a sec. Mate, I'll stop recording. <laughs> Hit record, we'll get another shark. Every time. That's good, eh? Sick. That's real good. All right, we're sitting here smoking these fish wraps. Absolutely bloody delicious. If you guys could eat, eat, ooh, if you guys could eat or smell this, you'd be dribbling all over yourself. They're really, really bloody good. Old mate in the background here, <laughs> old mate in the background here just gets smoked again, halfway through his wrap, throws his wrap and just picks up the rod. What do you got? Another shark, eh? Another shark. You're kidding. Oh, he's a little bit bigger. I don't have my headlight on, so it's, oh! <laughs> Getting pumped. Yeah, this is mad. All right, I'm going to sit here and finish this, finish this wrap. We'll get that shark on the deck, let it go, and, um, man, this is all around good times, eh? These fish wraps are out of control, man. Mm-hmm. All right, my doggies. That is the end of day one of this camping trip. Vic Dog is down here. He's out cold, man. He's already asleep, and I'm going to bed, too. I am knackered, man. I'm gonna crawl into this little swaggy. I'm gonna have a little bit of a shut eye, and tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning we got some big plans, man. We're gonna go chase some big fish, and um, yeah, that's it, man. We're gonna go chase some big fish in this little boat. All right, man, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smack that subscribe button, like this video, and I'll see you in the next video. And uh, me and Vicky, we're gonna get tight lines tomorrow morning. So thank you so much for watching, much love. See you in the next video. Soop!